You want to tell me what the hell is going on between Will Graham and Abigail Hobbs? Will has been victim of many unusual and irrational thoughts. Has he acted on these thoughts? Not that I'm aware of. Or he's aware of, for that matter. But he has experienced periods of lost time. Yes, I've seen him confused at crime scenes. I've seen him disoriented. He may have been confused because he was waking up. Might not have known where he was or how he got there. Waking up? From a dissociated personality state. He would appear perfectly normal and not remember a thing. But a fractured part of him would. And how long have you been aware of this? He's only recently started to discuss these episodes. Well, unless recently means just before I walked into your office, you failed to mention any of this to me. Because I was trying to determine if it was trauma and stress from the work he's doing for you or mental illness. I thought it wise to be sure before making any kind of claim about Will Graham's sanity. He's taken Abigail Hobbs. Do you have any idea where they might be going? No. We have evidence that she was involved in some of her father's crimes. We just don't know how involved. Is it possible that Will knew what Abigail was doing? Is that why he's protecting her? <laughs> There's something you should hear. How did you feel seeing Marissa Shaw impaled in his ankle room? Guilty. Because you couldn't save her? Because I felt like I killed her. Where was Will the night that Marissa Shaw was killed? He was supposed to be in his hotel room. I knocked on his door. He didn't answer. We know he was in Dr. Sutcliffe's office the night that he was killed. Was the last person to visit Georgia Madsen before she died. This dissociative personality state you say he goes into? Whose personality is it? He said he got so close to Garrett Jacob Hoffs and what he had done. That he felt he was becoming him. And now he has Hobbs' daughter. who Hobbs intended to kill. I'm so sorry, Jack. 